Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, or if you are new, welcome to my channel. Today we are doing this very peachy pink spring summertime look with a little pop of blue. So if you are interested in seeing how I got this look, just keep watching. All right guys, so I already have my base, my brows, and my eyeshadow primer on. So we're gonna go ahead and just jump straight into the eye look. I'm gonna start with the Too Faced Just Peachy Mattes palette today. I'm gonna grab my Morphe R37 and start with Peach Butter, this shade right here. And then I am going to wash this color all over the lid all the way up to the brow bone. Then to start the crease, I'm going to dip into this color here, which is called Peaches and Cream. And I'm going to take this color all the way into the inner corner of my eye, but it is the only shade that I'm going to take in all the way because I want this to have a more um, bright, wide-eyed effect. I don't know why, but it's so hard for me not to take every single eyeshadow all the way into the inner corner. Like, that's my fatal eyeshadow flaw, I feel like. So I'm extending this out towards the tail of my eyebrow to create a really soft cat eye effect. And I'm gonna move from my uh, Too Faced palette to a ColourPop palette. This is the Low Key palette, and I'm going to use both of these two oranges in the crease to build it up even more. I'm just feathering this in uh, on my lid towards the inner corner, about to the midpoint of my lid. Going in with the darker shade now, and I'm gonna keep that more at the lower portion of my crease. I'm not gonna take it up as high or as far into the middle of my lid. Then I'm going back into the lighter shade, and I'm going to take that in just a little bit further. And I've just been using the same brush this whole time. I'm not gonna take this color all the way in, but almost all the way in. And I'm gonna go back into the darkest shade one more time and just build up the outer corner a little bit more. Then I'm gonna grab my R37 again and go back into Peach Butter, this first shade we used, and just use that to blend out the top edges of my eyeshadow to make sure it's really, really soft and has a nice gradient. Then I think I'm actually gonna use Peach Meringue, this color here, it's like a light yellowy, whitish peach. I'm gonna pick up a flat brush, if I can find one. I'm just gonna use this, oh God. Um, I'm just gonna use this little model's own brush that I have that's got two flat ends on it. And I'm going to pick up that Peach Meringue shade on one side, cap off the excess, and put that in the inner corner and kind of fade it towards the middle of the eye. And this is gonna help to create that really nice bright and awake look. And then I'm also going to take that down into where I would highlight with a metallic shade normally. I don't usually do um, matte highlights very often, but I think we will today. And then I'm going to take this right on the brow bone as well, right under the arch, just to give it a little bit more of a pop. I'm going to use my Jaclyn Hill palette and I want to use the shade Pool Party, the shimmery blue, as my uh, lower lash line situation. So I'm gonna use that same model's own brush, but grab the blue on the other end and just start to smudge that under my lashes. Then I'm going to grab a bullet brush from Morphe and dip back into my Peachy Mattes palette and go for this shade right here. And I'm gonna use this to buff out that blue. And 
I'm just really lightly extending the lower lash line shade up to the top to kind of complete that cat eye shape and then super lightly just kind of wisping the edges to create more of that shape. I'm gonna go in with peach butter, which was the shade here and put that under my lash line as well. Then I'm gonna grab the smaller fluffy brush that I was using to place down these ColourPop shadows and I'm going to go into the lighter one and pick some up on this brush and then really haphazardly just place that under here. bullet brush wasn't really doing what I needed it to do so we're going for this now then I'm going to pick up my brush that I used to put the blue down and not picking any more shadow up I'm just gonna go really close to my lash line and use whatever excess is on the blush to re-intensify any area that I feel is a little too faded now I'm gonna take my oh god <laughs> I'm like dropping everything today. I'm gonna take my Essence Extreme Lasting Eye Pencil and line my waterline. And this is gonna make a really nice like light blue since that shimmer is so, so close to my lash line. It's gonna kind of combine the two and make a really nice like aqua color. Then I'm gonna tight line using my uh, Smashbox Always On Gel Liner. I hate tight lining so much. All right, so now that that torture is out of the way, I'm gonna grab some liquid liner and I'm just going to paint a stripe over my upper lash line just to kind of make it a little bit more, make it pop a little bit more. So I'm using, not this. So I'm using the NYX Matte Liquid Liner. I really like this liner. And like I said, we're just going for a basic little stripe. So while I let that dry for a minute, let's move on to highlight. I'm gonna spill things and use the Becca X Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop Highlight. And I'm gonna put it on with this brush today. It's a Morphe R10. I'm just going to kind of stipple it and make little circular sweeping motions on the high points of my cheeks. I'm taking this right up to where the eyeshadow starts and I'm kind of like putting it on my temples but not taking it up to my brow like I usually would. Then using a finger I'm going to put some down the bridge of my nose and on my cupid's bow. So now that the eyeliner is most likely dry, I am going to curl my lashes and put on some roller lash mascara from Benefit. And then I'll be putting on some falsies. Question is, which ones do I want to use today? I'm, I'm gonna go with the Melrose Avenue falsies from Morphe. These lashes were $3. Like all of these were $3 each and I've had them for so long and I've used them so many times and they're so, so good and they're so pretty and they're not like really overwhelming on the eyes they're like just the right amount of lash and I love them so much. So if you are on a budget like I am, $3 lashes, baby, they rock. While I wait for my lashes to dry, let's go ahead and do some bronzing. I'm gonna use my MAC Give Me Sun. I just like slid my finger all into it. And I'm gonna use a Morphe uh, 3.5 what am I doing? A Morphe 530 brush. And I'm going to mostly focus this on the perimeter of my face. I want a really kind of like more of a radiant bronze in a sense, I guess, if that makes any sense at all. I don't want it to be like really stark on my cheeks. I want it to kind of be an all over super glowy bronze. So I'm just dusting this around the entire perimeter of my face.
going to put on a little bit of lower lash mascara. So I have a funky white dot on my lash line right now because I added more glue. My lash was popping up, but while we wait for that to dry, I'm gonna do blush. I'm gonna use MAC Peaches. I'm gonna use that same brush I was using for bronzer. And I'm gonna go in with this pretty generously. I'm gonna take this on my nose as well. All right, so I guess it's time to move on to the lips now. I feel like I did this pretty quickly compared to how it usually goes, but I'm going to use my Kylie Jenner lip liner in Apricot. Then I'm gonna mix Kylie Apricot with this NYX Matte Lip Cream in Buenos Aires. I'm gonna add a little bit more peach to my lower lash line using just peachy from um, the Too Faced palette. And I'm gonna blend that out with the brush that I used earlier. Then I'm gonna take a flat definer brush and dip back into Pool Party and get that on my lash line a little bit more intensely. feel like it needs something else, but I don't know what it is. I think I'm gonna mix these two and add a little bit of that onto the top lid. I think the lip was a little bit more pink than the eyes, so it called for a little bit more peachy pink on the eyes. So yeah, um, I'm going to spritz my face with Fix Plus and then we're done, just like that. All right, you guys, so this is the finished look. I really like how this turned out. It's very summery, springy. Definitely turned out how I wanted, a little bit different, but I'm not mad at it. So yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure you subscribe before you leave if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.